All right, guys, so we're out here today and we're gonna try to get some pictures of some beautiful wildlife with this Sony a7 IV and this G Master 100-400 lens. It is a beautiful sunny day and we're just gonna see how the photos turn out if anything comes by, but stay tuned. We're gonna try to shoot the wildlife today not literally, and we're going to try to get some very, very good pictures. There is a beautiful, beautiful bird right in the sun. Let me get it when it comes over this way out of the sun. Bam, beautiful, beautiful, stunning crane. Now you guys bear with me. I'm not a bird expert, but I have ordered a book. So I will be studying up on the species of birds here so I can name them for you guys. We'll talk about uh, what I'm shooting in and camera settings and all this in the very near future. So stay tuned. All right guys, I'm gonna snap a few photos to kind of give you a panoramic view of what I'm looking at. So. All right, folks, we're in a good, good spot. We've got the eagles that normally roost over here during midday, so the sun's getting up. The way the lighting is, it's a little bit tricky. I got the sun off to this side, so it is good right now, but as the day goes on, it will get worse. Uh, tide rolling out, so maybe the birds will come back up in to feed when all the oyster shells and all get exposed and the tide gets low, so we're just gonna mosey around right here for a few minutes and we got some good spots that we can get the camera good and stationary uh, and see what comes we've got some birds out in the grass here so i'm gonna see if i can get a good image i might have to manually zoom in the camera here because we got grass twigs in the way but let's see what kind of image we can get on these birds wow that's some tough photography there those birds are hidden so We'll have to see how that image goes. That may be a dud, but we'll show it if it is. I tried to manual focus. Let's look at the sea. here good lighting on the seagull don't fly up of course yeah bye bye seagull <laughs> lighting okay we do have an eagle coming up the river in flight come on come on okay so she landed in a tree i will snap a photo here and see if we can show her to you guys Well, she's a long ways away, so we're gonna have to have some more patience. I did get two photos, but she's right at the end of the zoom range. Need a 600, don't I? I got a 400, I need a 600. Oh, I've got a beautiful osprey coming here. Come on, let me get it before it gets... I think we got some stunners in that one. That is a beautiful bird too. Now, I love the eagles, but the ospreys are very pretty too. 
Boy, I've got some beautiful wildlife flying today. I would have liked to have had a shot of that bird, but I was too busy messing with the camera. So, I hear some geese. Uh-oh, so I'm gonna have to let, the, let them get on the other side of me. So, cause I've got the sun right here. Boy, they're moving too, son. Wow. Might have been a little bit overexposed on that. Have my sunglasses down, but we'll see how that shot turns out. Okay, we got a beautiful crane right here. Flying in. Oh, wow. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think I got a very good shot of that. Big white crane, nice. All right, folks, the eagle has left the building. So I was busy taking pictures of other birds and I looked over and the eagle is gone and I didn't see which way it went. So we're gonna wait it out a little while longer and uh, see what happens. If no eagle today, maybe an eagle tomorrow. So you guys know how it goes, but we've got some beautiful pictures. So if we get the eagle, the video will continue. If not, I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Got him. All right, guys, finally got the eagle. I hope out of uh, one of those hundred shots that I took that one of them's a good photo. So let's see what happens. It's been a good day and uh, waited him out, disappeared, then appeared right back to the horizon right there and tracked him all the way back up by the dock here. So let's see how that looks.